Um, my name's John Tannock. I'm currently pavement engineer for Ipswich City Council, but I've spent many years having my own uh, consulting practice. And at the time I did the um, monument for Grari, I was uh, operating privately and not really doing it under the umbrella of EJ Tannock and Associates, but uh, using, using the my sort of uh, context of being a private consultant in getting the uh, project up and running. Engineers don't do stakeholder engagement well, um, and I've probably been guilty of that in the past. But over time, my understanding of, of the importance of it has evolved, and I, I believe that stakeholder engagement, and not just stakeholder engagement, but effective stakeholder engagement is absolutely essential to the uh, successful outcome of a project. If you can bring people with you and have them know what you're doing and why you're doing it, and get them to support you. It's, it's like a wave or a tide that comes with you if you can get it right. In, in New Guinea, um, I'd never been there before be, uh, until 2016, but I had people around me who had been there and who knew the culture. And uh, they warned me early on that um, it was very important if you said you were going to do something that you needed to do it. So you've got to talk to them in the first place. I mean, when we were going to do the monument originally, we thought we were waltz in there and with a few bags of cement and rig it up without um, really talking to them. And then it was explained to me, no, you'll need to approach them first. It'll take about a year uh, to talk to them and get them on the side. And um, whatever you do, don't promise that you'll do something and not do it, because once you do that, the people of New, uh, culture of the people of New Guinea was they'll they'll wipe you, um, but if you can demonstrate that you say what you do, uh, they will be very supportive of you. You've got to identify who your key people are, and communications is the key. Um, I first had an example of how important it was when um, I had two contractors. I, I operate an avocado farm. And we had two contractors come in around about the same time. One of them never returned phone calls and he would lob on site without telling you who was coming. And you weren't ready for him. And um, in some cases we just had to tell him to leave and come back another day. Whereas the other contractor would, would ring you up and say, this is what I'm going to do, this is how I'm going to do it, and this is when I'm going to do it. He'd ring up the day before, I'll be there tomorrow, is that still okay? And the communications were so good. And up to that point, I probably wasn't the best communicator or, or the best uh, at engaging in stakeholders, uh, but it was a lesson to me of just how important it was to have those good communications, effective communications, keep people in the loop. I think first of all, you've got to understand the importance of it. If you don't understand the importance of it, um, it just won't work. Um, uh, I've, I've worked with people who are excellent communicators and other people who think because they know something nobody else needs to know and they don't understand that the people around them often have skills that can be utilised or have knowledge of the background of an issue if they've been aware of it um, the course of action that person might have taken might be completely different but because they operate in their own cocoon and don't communicate um, it, at times can all go pear-shaped so I guess engineers have got to understand it and they've got to make a determined effort. And I know uh, the way I approach stakeholder engagement has changed over the years and um, you just can't be set in your ways. If, if, if you stay set in your ways and don't engage in effective consultation, you, you are doomed to be less effective than you potentially could be. People have alerted to me to things I, I need to do differently. And the one thing about working in local government, you usually good feet, get good feedback might all, not all be positive feedback, but it's useful feedback. And you've just, you've just got to learn to change your ways. I've often had people say to me, well, if I talk to them, they'll want to do this, they want to do that. We've already got our set course of action set. Um, they're going to hold us up if we go that way. But you can't, you, you might get away with it on some projects, but there's some projects that will come back to bite you big time if, if you adopt, adopt that attitude.